Yo guys, welcome to Asha Fitness. This is the third video in the calisthenics back workout mini series. This is the advanced calisthenics back workout. So if you're finding that your pull-ups are getting a little bit easy and you need something more challenging, then this is the perfect video for you. Remember to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any videos. Now let's get it, hey. The calisthenics back workout we're gonna be doing today consists of five exercises. These are advanced tuck front lever ice cream makers, pull up rows, reverse deadlifts, and pull ups superset with body weight rows. I'm gonna show you what they look like within a workout context first, and then I'll explain the first three exercises in detail so you can get straight out there and start building a strong aesthetic back. The reason why I'm only going to explain how to do the first three exercises in this video is because if you're advanced enough to do this workout, then I won't need to explain how to do the last two exercises, pull ups and body weight rows. If you're just joining this back workout series and want to learn how to do pull ups and body weight rows, then don't worry, just watch the second video in this series, the intermediate level back workout. To help you really get the muscle building benefits of these exercises, I'll now explain how to do each of the advanced calisthenics exercises in detail. The first exercise in this workout is the advanced tuck front lever ice cream maker. This is an incredible exercise that is great for building your lats and upper back. It also challenges your core and biceps, so it's an excellent all rounder when it comes to building muscle and strength in your upper body. To prepare for the advanced tucked front lever ice cream maker, place your hands shoulder width apart on the bar. Pull up until your chin clears the bar as you would with a regular pull up and then lower your body and lift your hips up until your body is parallel with the ground. This position is the advanced tuck front lever. When you're in this position, make sure that your arms are straight, your knees are beyond the bar, your core is engaged and you're squeezing your glutes. Consciously thinking about engaging your abs and squeezing your glutes will make holding the advanced tuck front lever much easier and it will allow you to hold the position for longer. The further your knees are away from the bar, the harder it will be to hold the advanced tuck front lever position. Likewise, the closer your knees are to the bar, the easier it will be. Experiment with knee positioning to see which knee position is appropriate for your current strength level. Once you've lowered yourself into the advanced tuck front lever, bring yourself back to the starting position by pulling up until your chin is back above the bar. The second exercise is the pull up row. The pull up row is great for hitting your back muscles, specifically your middle and lower trapezius muscles. It also targets your lats and your core, so again this is a brilliant muscle building compound movement. To set up for the pull up row, place your hands just wider than shoulder width on the bar. Pull up like you would with a normal pull up and at the same time swing your legs up towards the bar using the strength from your core. You'll notice that the position that you get into to set up for the pull up row is just an easier variation of the advanced tuck front lever. Instead of having your knees out in front of you, you have your feet up in the air. This reduces the leverage of the movement, which makes it easier to hold. Once you're in this position, the next step is to pull up to the bar. The most effective way to do this is to visualize pulling your hips up to the bar. Pulling your hips up to the bar will allow you to do the pull up row with a full range of motion. As a result, you'll be able to fully contract your back muscles when you reach the top of the movement. Getting a good contraction on your muscles is essential for muscle growth, so try your best to pull yourself all the way up to the bar. The third exercise in the back workout is the reverse deadlift. 
This is a great exercise for the lats and core and, like the previous two exercises, is a great way to build up the strength needed to achieve the front lever. To do the reverse deadlift, start in the pull up row position. Next, keeping your arms straight, pull down on the bar and thrust your hips up to the bar. If you've never performed this movement, it can feel a little alien. Here's a couple of tips that will help you do it with ease. When you're pulling down on the bar, think of generating the strength from your lats. As you drive your hips up, think about generating the strength from your glutes and core. Thrust your hips right up to the bar until they touch it and lower yourself back down into the pull up row position with control. Keep your arms and your legs straight for the entire movement to maintain proper form. As I said at the beginning of this video, I won't explain how to do the next two exercises, pull ups and bodyweight rows, because if you're doing this workout, you've probably already mastered how to do these. However, what I will explain is the concept of the superset. A superset is when you perform one exercise directly after another. In this workout, pull ups are superset with bodyweight rows. That means after you finish your set of 10 pull ups, you move straight on to 10 bodyweight rows with no rest time in between exercises. Once you've done your bodyweight rows, you can rest for a short period of time before you start the superset again. Thank you for watching guys, if you found the video helpful then let me know in the comments below and if you think your friends would find this video useful then make sure to pass it on to them. This has been Ashton with Ashton Fitness, now go do that back workout.